Jamal Nair is here with George Brennan after your third professional victory. How are you feeling after that performance? Yeah, I enjoyed it every minute of the fight again, you know, it was, it was a good fight. Um, fair play to, uh, to Jordan there, you know. I caught him with some great body shots and head shots and he, he, he just dug deep and, and managed to stay in it. Um, I thought the ref was going to jump in a few times uh, with the shots I landed. I, I could I could see it in his eyes that I really hurt him. So I stepped on it, stepped on him, and, and and went for it. But unfortunately, I didn't I didn't get the stoppage. But I came away with a win. Were you disappointed at all that you didn't get the stoppage that you were looking for? Uh, no, not at all. I think that um, I, them four rounds uh, uh, have done me well. Um, it's been a long camp, and um, I'm glad I got the win. You know, it's it's all about getting the win. It don't not, it don't matter how you get it, but. It would have been nice with the stoppage, but you know, I, I got the win. I'm happy. You use your head movement and um, the shots to the body really well throughout the fight. Do you feel like you executed your game plan perfectly during the fight? Yeah, the, the game plan worked perfectly. Um, in the first round, Kieran gave me the instructions. I stuck to the instructions, uh, caught him with some lovely shots. Um, and, and then second round, I, I stuck to the same game plan as the first round for 30 seconds a minute. And then I, I went for it and I caught him with a few good body shots. And uh, all, all the lads will tell you in the gym that I have the power to hurt people. It's just that I just got to put it in now and, and start knocking them out. During the fight, obviously, instructions change uh, throughout the rounds, throughout the fight. How hard is it to actually listen to what Kieran is saying and execute what he is saying with all the obvious noise going on, the pressure during the fight? How hard is it to actually do what he's telling you? Yeah, the, the crowd, the crowd was unbelievable tonight. You know, it's, it's, they're making some noise tonight. And um, yeah, I, st I stuck to the game plan just purely because Kieran you know, you know, I knew from day one what the game plan was and we've been working on it for the last 8 12 weeks and it, the game plan worked so I just stuck to instructions I knew what I had to do and I kept a cool lead again you know I'm only 20 and people say that I keep my head uh, nice and clean and aware and everyone understand, can see that I, I do box how I'm instructed to box and I stick to the game plan yeah that's, that's something that I completely agree on you do box uh, way maturely beyond your years and speaking of the crowd this is a venue that Ricky Atten made famous 13 years ago. As a Manchester City fan yourself and a professional fighter from Manchester, how does it feel to box in the same arena? Yeah, when Kieran said that at the start of the week, I was shocked, you know. I didn't imagine someone like Ricky Atten of boxing here, if I'm honest. But knowing that we've, we've equaled or, uh, or got near to the crowd that he once boxed, boxed under, if you look at the people on that name, you know, some of them become British, European, world champions. I'd happily follow in their footsteps, you know, and uh, I, that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to go to the top. And when can we next expect to see you in the ring? Um, I'm looking at April the 14th, um, the dinner show at the Bowlers. Um, really looking forward to that. Uh, be, be my first step up fight, six threes. Um, yeah, I can't wait. Get back in the gym Monday, same again. Well, I'll let you get back to enjoying your night, George, and uh, thanks a lot. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers.